If you're lucky enough to have got a second set of wheels for your bike, you're going to need to know how to get them set up and ready to ride. And thankfully, I'm going to explain how to do that in a few basic steps. First things first, I'm going to make the assumption that you've bought the correct wheels for your bike in terms of rim brake or disc brake and whether you're using quick release or through axles. Now the wheels that I'm setting up today are actually going to feature in a video that's out this weekend where I'm seeing if two wheel sets and one bike can replace having two different bikes. So if that sounds like your sort of thing, subscribe to GCN Tech and turn on your notifications. So firstly, what are the parts that you're actually going to need to install onto your new wheels? Well, you're going to need some tyres, you're going to need some inner tubes or tubeless mounts, you're going to need some tubeless sealant, you're going to need a cassette which is the same size as what's already on your bike, and you're going to need some disc brake rotors, again which are the same size as what's already installed on your bike. You're also going to need to make sure you've got ones which are 6 bolt or centre lock to fit onto your new wheels that you've just purchased. Step one, install your new tyres. Now, literally every set of wheels I've ever seen these days comes with rim tape pre-installed. And if your wheels are set up tubeless ready, then nine times out of 10, it's gonna have tubeless rim tape installed and ready to go. So first things first, tubeless valves in, tyres on, sealant in, pump them up. Tyres done. Next step is gonna be to install your new cassette. Now it's gonna depend on what group set that you've got fitted to your bike as the process so is gonna differ ever so slightly between different brands. But essentially, you just need to line up the splines on the back of your cassette with the splines on your free hub body on your wheels. And then using our lock ring tool, hold it nice and securely in place and make sure it's nice and tight. Great progress so far, and if you're running rim brakes, then all you're gonna to need to do is install your wheels into your bike, quick check and adjust of the brake pads to make sure they're sitting on the rims correctly, adjust your tire pressures, and away you go. However, if you're running a disc brake bike, you're gonna to need to install some new disc brake rotors. Now to do that, you're gonna need a set of rotors, the same as what's already installed on your bike, and depending on what lock rings your wheels are using, you can have a lock ring like this, or one like this, so a lock ring like this one has got splines around the edges, so you need a tool similar to this. And if you use a lock ring with this one, then you're gonna use the same tool that you installed your cassette with. One more to go. Now at this point, your new wheels are gonna be ready to go. It's just gonna be a case of installing them into your bike. And it's at this stage where you can sometimes run into a minor issue, and that's to do with the brake caliper alignment on the disc rotor, and it can mean that you might ever so slightly have a rubbing brake caliper. It's just to do with the difference in hub spacing between different types of wheels. And this is why when you're considering purchasing a second set of wheels, I think it's a great idea to buy exactly the same wheel set or at least buy from the same manufacturer because that way you should hopefully not have to keep adjusting your brake caliper as you switch between your different wheels. But go steady on your new wheels because it's gonna take a few rides for the rotors and the tires to be at their best. So there you have it, how to set up a second set of wheels ready to install onto your bike. Hope you found this maintenance video helpful. If you have, please give it a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments section down below if there are any other maintenance videos you might like to see. And um, don't forget to subscribe to GCN Tech so you can see the video at the weekend where I head out and ride these things. Right.